Glutamate Rajixin Apps Glutamate is the major excitatory neurotransmitter at almost all synapses in the vertebrate central nervous system. Glutamate is packaged into synaptic vesicles in the glutamatergic presynaptic terminals and released into the synaptic cleft through the fusion of synaptic vesicles to the membrane at the active zone. Once released, glutamate acts on postsynaptic glutamate receptors to regulate several neuronal functions, such as neuronal migration, excitability, plasticity, long-term potentiation and long-term depression. Glutamate receptors are transmembrane proteins, they are numerous and highly complex and can be divided into two main categories, voltage-sensitive ionotropic glutamate receptors, which are glutamate-gated ion channels, and ligand-sensitive metabotropic glutamate receptors, which are glutamate-activated G-protein-coupled receptors. Ionotropic glutamate receptors can be further categorized into NMDA receptors, AMP receptors and canid receptors. They are heterotetramers formed by toe dimmers with different combinations of different subunits. AMP receptors are formed by toe dimmers with different combinations of the four subunits glue A1 to 4, and usually glue A1 combining glue A2 and glue A2 combining glue A3 in mammalian CNS. NMDA receptors are heterotetramers, which exist to gluon 1 subunits and two glun 2A or glun 2B subunits. The switch between glun 2A and glun 2B subunits plays a crucial role in modulating receptor function. Canid receptors are also heterotetramers, which are composed of Ka1, Ka2, gluR5, gluR6 and gluR7. AMP receptors are the first target of glutamate released from presynaptic terminals, leading to postsynaptic membrane depolarization through the influx of sodium, and therefore play a fundamental role in synapse maturation and plasticity. Following the initial AMP receptor-mediated depolarization, NMDA receptors are permeable to sodium and calcium ions to mediate excitatory transmission upon glutamate binding. Specially, NMDA receptor is a coincidence detector, the open of the channel requires the postsynaptic cell to be depolarized to remove the physical occlusion by magnesium when glutamate is binding to the receptor. Canid receptors also mediate a postsynaptic current through the entry of sodium and a smaller extent of calcium, resulting in a smaller contribution to neuron depolarization than AMP receptors. Generally, AMP receptors mediate fast synaptic transmission, while NMDA and canid receptors mediate slower synaptic transmission. In addition, glutamate can act on metabotropic glutamate receptors to modulate neuronal excitability and synaptic transmission. Metabotropic glutamate receptors are slower acting as they exert their effects indirectly through recruitment of second messenger systems, involving the process of gene expression and protein synthesis. Metabotropic glutamate receptors are assembled in dimmers, which exist eight in gluar subtypes MGLUR1 to 8 that are differentially expressed in specific neuronal populations in the CNS. And they are divided into three subgroups based on sequence homology, G-protein coupling, and ligand selectivity. Group 1 metabotropic receptors MGLUR1 and 5 are largely expressed on the postsynaptic membrane and are mainly associated with GQ or GS. Upon binding of glutamate, group 1 metabotropic receptors trigger the activation of phospholipase C, resulting in the generation of inositol IP3 and the hydrolysis of phosphoinositids.
which leads to the calcium mobilization from endoplasmic reticulum and protein kinase C activation. This signaling pathway is responsible for increased neuronal excitability. Group 2 and Group 3 metabotropic receptors are situated not only postsynaptically, but also presynaptically where they function to suppress excess glutamate transmission. After its action on group 2 and 3 metabotropic receptors, glutamate can be transferred from the synaptic cleft by excitatory amino acid transporters expressed either on the presynaptic terminal or neighboring glial cells. In glial cells, glutamate is converted to glutamine, which is then transported back to the presynaptic terminal and converted back to glutamate. The glutamatergic synapse pathways play a crucial role in a large array of normal physiological functions. The glutamate dysfunction stands out as a key factor in both injury and neurodevelopmental diseases, including autism spectrum disorder, intellectual disability, Down syndrome, Red syndrome and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. For more information, please visit creativediagnostics.com.